It's getting cold outside, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere, and that's a hint that the holidays are approaching. Black Friday is coming up as well, and people are thinking about what to get as gifts for others or for themselves. Someone asked me recently if I would do my typical tech shopping guide for this season, and so this is a response to that. Remember, I don't cater to the normie crowd. If you're watching this channel, it's because you're concerned about the overreach of technology. So these are not the tips for the common man. These are the shopping tips for those who are aware. I'm going to tell you about great tech gadgets that are safe for your privacy. I will also make sure to tell you things not to buy. Stay right there. Let's first start with the things you should not buy. The seasonal advertising will be hard to ignore, but I will make sure you hear me out as your purchase will bite your privacy in the behind. Number one, ring cameras. Did you know ring cameras are owned by Amazon? Well, that in itself is not the main evil. There are other cameras owned by Amazon like Blink, which I would not buy either. But specifically, ring cameras send your videos to a central repository and shared with the government. Plus, it does facial recognition. It also provides the infrastructure for the Amazon Sidewalk Mesh Network. Uh, no thanks. Stay away from this. I will suggest an alternative later on. Number two, Mac computers. I know techies like some of you get excited about the MacBooks with the M2 chips long battery life and great performance. But come on folks, this is the company doing client-side scanning. This is the stuff they originally put on the iPhones and is now on Mac OS. Do you really need to have a man in the middle in your tech life? Bad news, don't get this. Number three, iPhones and Google Androids. Basically, I'm talking about all phones using iOS and standard Google Android. The specific models don't matter. For example, on Androids, it could be Samsung, LG, Google, Pixels, and so on. They're all the same. I don't need to rehash. Stay away from these as they are the worst for privacy. Number four, Amazon Alexa Echo. Are people still buying these? For a test, I bought some tile trackers, which uses the Amazon Sidewalk Mesh Network, which is internet powered by Echoes. I found that there aren't enough of these devices around that are on to provide good tile coverage. So that's good news. Anyway, you don't want a man in the middle transcribing every conversation or search request. And do not buy this as a Christmas gift, even though it is priced for that at 50 bucks. I've gotten this as a Christmas present. Great for target practice. Number five, Google Home. I know having IoT devices at home seems cool and all, but do you have to use one that's tied to the biggest surveillance network on Earth? Anyway, I choose to not have any of this kind of tech at my home. Number six, Fitbit. You would think there's nothing wrong with a fitness tracker like Fitbit. Yes, they do record your locations and your biometrics, but the real issue is that Fitbit was bought by Google. So guess who keeps that information now? Enough said. Number seven, Apple AirTags. I presume you're not going to buy an AirTag if you don't have an iPhone, since that is on my do not buy list. But just note that having AirTags increase the surveillance of your phones to tracking in inches. So no thanks. I'll suggest something else later on if you're really big on trackers. Okay, that's my absolutely ironclad do not buy list. There could be other products that I would not recommend, but these are definitely in the extreme threat list. Let's talk about safe gadgets. Of course, each person has specific wants, so some of these products may not interest you. However, if you look at the main theme, you will see why these products are considered safe and you can use that knowledge to judge other products you do want to buy. I'm going to have links to all these products in the description so you can look at the exact models I'm referring to. None of these products are sponsors or they're just based 
on my personal experience. Number one, Garmin watch. Some of you are considering things like an Apple watch or a Pixel watch or a Samsung watch. It depends on what exactly you're trying to use on your wrist. A real watch is obviously the best, no tech. By the way, I don't use any watch. But if you're looking at techie watches, there are several Garmin watches to consider. There's a version that's a fitness tracker like Fitbit, but remember that this is not connected to Google or the internet, so it's absolutely safe. There's also one that has a built-in GPS for the hikers and boaters. Yes, you can't receive phone calls and texts on these, but hey, that's a good thing. Number two, Garmin navigation for cars. Someone just messaged me that he can't survive with a de-Google phone even running ways. He wants turn-by-turn -turn navigation with voice. I don't understand the problem since Waze has voice. But why use Waze? It's owned by Google. Instead, the safest option if your car is not equipped with navigation is to have a dedicated Garmin device. This is not connected to the internet. Garmin's gotten very sophisticated now. From their handheld GPS products 25 years ago, they now provide sophisticated navigation even for yachts. So they should know how to do navigation. Number three, Remarkable e-ink. Remarkable is an interesting tech for some people. Depending on how your creative juices flow, there's a value in just handwriting things and doodling ideas on a sheet of paper. But though many tablets and computers offer the option to use a pen and handwrite on a screen, it's really a different experience on a dedicated e-ink device. The device I'm going to suggest is Remarkable, which is a dedicated e-ink paper device. You write on it like a piece of paper. You can even erase like paper. This is really good for sketching ideas or taking notes in school. These are the main advantages of an e-ink device. First, the battery lasts forever, like weeks. Second, it is not touch screen, so you can rest your fingers on it like real paper. The texture is like paper, but it has the tech advantages of being able to email your notes and doing text recognition. The real neat thing about this dedicated e-ink device is that it's running Linux, so no spyware to track your handwriting. There's a similar product called Books, which I also have. Unfortunately, it runs Android, so aside from having to click extra things in a non-dedicated e-ink device, it is also not completely immune from tracking. Number four, AOSU security camera. There are two security camera companies that look pretty much the same, probably because some of the hardware seems to come from the same supplier. These companies are Eufy and AOSU. Their doorbell cameras are the same hardware, but if you look at the complete offerings of both companies, they do offer other different products. I use AOSU, and after a year of using the doorbell camera, I'm really very happy with it. This is not like Ring. The videos are kept on the small host device that is inside your home. It is not stored on the internet. Yes, it does route your traffic to AOSU so you can access your videos via a mobile app, but this is not subject to the same risk as a Ring device, and that is an optional use as well. What makes AOSU stand out in comparison to Eufy are the other cameras beyond just the doorbell cameras. There are solar powered cameras and wired cameras. I just wish they had 4K video. Their cameras max out at 2K video, which is not bad, but I'm looking forward to 4K someday. This will be a good solution for most people. Number five, tile trackers. People want an alternative to air tags and something safer. I'm going to tell you now that the air tag is just better at surveillance in the US because 56% of the people have iPhones, so it is much more prevalent. But it is not an option for me and I thought about what could be an option. So I opted to test tile trackers to see what the risk is. Fortunately, the tile itself is not connected to any big tech identity. So yes, tile can track the device. However, who is it really tracking? Using my Braxmail email with an alias, does it really know who I am? Not really. So although it is a tracker, it is not able to really do mass surveillance or collect your data for a third party without an identity like an Apple ID. However, having said this, the tile tracker is useful enough to find objects nearby like your keys. 
It is a poor tracker, though, if you want to track your children or people. For distant tracking, it can only give a general location, which is probably a good thing. Number six, Synology Drive. I have a dedicated video talking about Synology Drive. I've been using Synology for a while now, and I have to say this is really an easy backup solution for those that are not terribly techy. I've been able to back up the photos from all phones, backup data from multiple computers, all in a 20 terabyte drive that didn't cost that much. And I can even access it over the internet. You don't need anything fancy. Even the cheapest of the Synology drives, plus the size hard drive you want, is good enough. And all the software is available on the built-in Synology store. Really usable from my personal experience. Though I am pretty techy, I don't have time to be fiddling with complex things constantly. Number 7. DJI Osmo Action 4 Instead of relying on your phone for videos, if you want some really high-end devices for capturing action videos, I recommend the DJI Osmo Action 4. I've been using the DJI Osmo Action 3 for a while now, and it is my main device for my sailing videos. I use it even for home videos. It is so small, but it's doing 4K videos with this little thing that I can easily put in my pocket with my phone. The new DJI Osmo Action 4 does 4K at 120fps now, so that's really pretty amazing for doing 4K slow-mo footage. This is a fun toy you will enjoy. The more common choice when it comes to action cameras is the GoPro, and the new one is the GoPro Hero 12. Frankly, the DJI Osmo Action 4 is better, and you can watch various comparison videos on YouTube. I'm a heavy user, so I can say that I highly recommend it as a small action camera. Number 8. Sony WH-1000XM5 Noise Cancelling Headphone I have two of these in the prior model, which is the WH-1000XM4. Sony now lowered the price on the XM5, so if you're buying a new one, this is the one to choose. What's so special about these headphones? First of all, the noise cancellation is amazing. I have other noise cancelling headphones and earphones. This is reviewed often as the top end of noise cancelling tech. I'm on my boat a lot and I could be editing a video and I can't hear the air conditioner if I have these headsets on. Plus, the battery life is very long. I think it's like 30 hours on the new models. Mine is the older model with 20 hours. Plus, you can do a quick recharge in a few minutes. Comparing this to the small earbuds, the problem with the earbuds is the battery life. Obviously, these bigger headsets offer bigger space for batteries. Also, it is more comfortable with the padded ears versus an earbud. Number 9. Intel NUC 11 I will show you a sample configuration here of an Intel NUC 11 running an i7-1165 G7 4-core 32GB RAM with a 1TB SSD. This is around $500 or so. This is not the highest configuration, but this is a pretty powerful computer at this price. I'm running two of these on my live stream setup. Very reasonably priced. They come with Windows pre-installed, but the reason I recommend these as a computer option is that these are 100% Linux compatible. I'm running Pop! OS on my units. I'm sure you can run any Linux distro. If you want to try Linux and don't want it to cost an arm and a leg for a powerful computer, this is a great thing to use. I wrote down instructions on how to install Linux on these, so it should be easy. Number 10, Starlight Tablet. Here's a new one, a tablet running Linux. This offering is from Star Labs, which is a company in the UK that sells Linux laptops. I have a Linux laptop from them. If you don't have the technology to install Linux, this is a very good way to do it. Everything is pre-installed already with Linux and all the drivers for use in this device. Most people use tablets for web browsing and media consumption, and this is definitely an easy way to do that safely. Now, this is a new product, so it will likely not arrive before Christmas. But check out their other laptops as well if that's what you're interested in. That's it for recommended products to buy. Now, let me talk about my own product that I sell on my store.
I started selling these products because I want to offer solutions instead of just talking about problems. I've been selling these products for years and I have many happy customers that you can talk to directly on my BraxMe app. The first important product is the D-Google phone. We were marketing the Brax2 phone since last year, but that is now sold out. Right now we have different models of Pixel phones which are using Calyx OS. First of all, the Pixels are very high quality phones and you will really enjoy them with Calyx OS, which is very user friendly. Most things you expect to have on a phone will work with minimal fuzz and tech skills. But there's no Google on these phones and there is no Google ID. So if you're not ready to be privacy aware, then this is not for you. Most apps will work just fine as long as they're not Google. Not 100%, but with very few exceptions. Most of these phones are around 400, so much cheaper than a regular phone. I started a VPN service by VPN years ago. The thing about a VPN service is that you have to trust the provider of the service. So some of you choose to trust some unknown corporation with some unknown affiliation. Here's a VPN service coming from someone you know. My face is attached to this service. Me and my staff support it directly. I can guarantee you that we do not log anything since I use it myself. Many VPNs block email, by the way. We do not block anything. Check it out. We have worldwide coverage and we do not scam you with auto renewals. I created a Braxmail product from user request of a stealthy email solution. The main claim to fame of our email product is that there is no metadata. We do not record IP addresses and ensure that IP addresses do not appear on your email headers. Thus, this provides you with a quiet way to gain privacy by not revealing where the messages come from. You get to use any of our seven domains, some of which are very obscure, and you can create unlimited aliases. Sign up quickly to use short usernames, which will be very popular for use with aliases. You can also use webmail, so no setup is required to use it. Just a normal browser will be fine. All these products are on the store on my app, BraxMe. Sign up on there, and don't worry, you will not be asked to give any personal information to sign up. Thank you for watching, have a great holiday season, and see you again soon.